What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. I hope everybody had their little coffee jank of the day on this beautiful No Hat Monday. <laughs> That's right, No Hat Monday. Nah, it's not really No Hat Monday. It's just I didn't feel like wearing a damn hat today. But check it out. I got some pretty funny stuff to talk about today. But first, let's talk about this Tupac interview that I just did. Or not Tupac interview, but the guy that was locked up with Tupac on Rikers Island. All right, now check it out. A lot of people are like, man, he's lying, lying. I don't know if he's lying, but I can tell you one thing for sure that old death knows and anybody who's done time can vouch for this, all right? And that is the man has pictures with Tupac on Rikers Island, all right? He has pictures with Tupac on Rikers Island. First and foremost, it's not very easy to get pictures taken, especially back then. It was Polaroids, I'm guessing, Polaroids. And not only that, do you think Tupac's just going to be slinging pictures with anybody and everybody he meets in Rikers Island? I don't think so, my friend. For this individual to have taken a picture with him locked up, he had to have some kind of pool. And that's just the simple fact. And that's what really kind of uh, authenticates it for me. You know, locks in his story a little bit for me because... Man, you ain't gonna be just uh, nobody and taking a picture with Tupac in jail. That's all I gotta say about the dude's video. Y'all can say what you want, but it is what it is, man. But big salute to you for coming on to the show and telling your little story. I know he didn't want to tell too much because it's in his book. Oh, and that reminds me, his book is not available. It's up there on Amazon, but it's not available. I didn't know that until after I put the link up and people were telling me. Who knows? Maybe he hasn't made more copies of it yet. Maybe they sold out fast. Uh, but if you are looking forward to buying his book, just keep checking and maybe it'll be updated here soon. Now, let's get into the topic at hand. Yesterday, I was doing some artwork, by the way. I'm, I'm dropping some vicious handcrafted artwork on my other channel, 23 and Fun. It's the stuff that I sell on my Etsy page. Go check it out. But while I was doing this artwork and recording it from other channel, uh, Brittany had a show playing in the background on the TV. Okay, it was... I think it's called Jailbirds or something like that. It's like some kind of, it's, it's another lockup documentary of people in jail. Just another one, kind of like lockup raw or whatever the case is. But I'm not watching it. All I'm doing is listening to it, okay? And all of a sudden this topic comes up and it's called Toilet Talk, okay? She, and I, I was outside and I came in and I started doing my own work and Brittany started talking to me about it. She goes, did you know people could talk through the toilet? Now, before she started breaking it down to me how they did it, I went into high depth detail on how individuals would talk to females through the toilet and stuff from block to block, from floor to floor. And I'm gonna get into that here in a second, but as I was telling it, <laughs> as I was explaining, I said to myself, uh-oh, uh, I'm going into a little bit depth of, uh, of how they did it. And I knew what she was gonna say after I told uh, the story of how M.A.'s did. I knew what she was going to say, and sure enough, as soon as I was done speaking, she said, oh, so you used to talk to those girls through the toilet too? I was like, no, 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 no. Rephrase. Let me rephrase this. My friend had a cell, and I learned from my celly. <laughs> no, but in all actuality, I really did have uh, a cell where people were talking through the freaking toilet to someone to the girls on another floor Now you might be asking yourselves. How is this even possible? How can you talk through a toilet if there's water in it? How can you pass notes through a toilet? How can you do this? Well, it's very simple believe it or not Most of the times in most jails the girls are housed or at least in the jail that I was in at this time the girls are housed on another floor than the men all right so the toilets, yes, they're filled with water, but there was techniques to get the water out the toilet. You could put a cup into the toilet and flush it, like uh, a cup into the toilet hole, flush it, and all the water would suck out, but it would leave it bone dry. You would take the cup up and it would, all the water, it would just be a bone dry toilet. Now, after we would do the whole cup thing, or there might be other ways that people did it, but we used a cup. And after we did that and there was no water in the toilet, uh, the person above you, and it, you know, it, it, it's hard to do sometimes because not everyone knows this trick, but some of the girls were hip to it. Whenever you get a cell like that, the word usually passes on to the next person living in it. 
that hey you can communicate with women above yourself and the tactics of how to do it kind of recycles itself throughout time all right but passing notes and stuff through the toilet look the toilets in jail they're all linked okay it's like they're all linked together when one toilet floods it'll be like another 30 toilets that flood i've told stories about how uh the flooding if if something gets clogged in the piping it will flood the whole block all right i mean they are linked and these pipes will be connected from one floor straight down you know there'll be a toilet pipe going down into the wall toilet on the second floor pipe going down to the wall it's all going out the same pipe and people used to drain their toilets and in this episode I actually showed it pretty much to the t how they were doing it on uh jailbirds or whatever it was called and they would tie forks or whatever the case was that could slide into the pipe good flush it it'll suck down the rope with the fork on the end of it and the person underneath them will do the same thing and these forks or whatever you use to uh, flush will get connected and when they get connected then you pull the string out and there will be a kite attached to whatever the person above or underneath uh, put onto the fork now when you pull that thing through the freaking toilet it's absolutely disgusting i never did any of this crap i mean it's trifling man you're you're pulling notes and stuff through a shit pipe <laughs> that thousands of inmates have taken a dump through but people don't care you know just to be able to speak and interact with a female and lock up i mean there's guys like on the show yesterday I'm, i swear it's just like guys i've seen uh in the cell that i was in they think they are sure enough players they will fall in love with this girl by talking to her through a freaking toilet and they become like a relationship for real they become a relationship and next thing you know they're passing information they'll call each other on three-way through the phone uh they'll get their information for the person's phone number on the streets they'll call it connect them and then that person will give them a three-way to the phone next thing you know you're talking to someone that's living in a cell on a floor above you you know it's unbelievable how inmates can communicate especially like that i mean it's remarkable to tell you the truth it's nasty it is nasty but that's how people can communicate through toilets i remember reading a comment that someone said and everyone's like man you can't do that you can't pass freaking notes through the toilet and i was saying to myself i didn't reply to the comment but i was saying to myself yes you can i was actually going to make a video on it but i guess something else came up and it got lost in the trap but watching that episode okay i'm gonna make a video on this and it's funny too because when i'm sitting there doing my artwork and stuff and i'm not even watching it i can understand exactly what they're doing like i'm doing my artwork and i hear rappers and stuff and i hear a lot of commotion on the tv and i said Brittany, i'm doing my work i said Brittany, is it canteen day over there on tv and she's like yeah <laughs> And look, I could tell it was canteen day just by the sounds of the commotion of inmates and the rappers coming out the freaking bag. I knew it was canteen day. It's sad that you can uh, recognize stuff like this just by the sounds. You know, there's a lot of things that you can recognize in jail about the sound. The sound of keys, the sound of locks. I knew certain sounds of locks and what they were opening and closing, where they were coming from just simply because the way that the lock was unlocking. And speaking of sounds, that's another thing about the toilet as well. Uh, there was a show 60 Days In and this guy was scared to flush his toilet at night after taking a piss because his cellmate would get mad because it would wake him up. Toilets are very loud. But for you to be scared to flush a freaking toilet, that's some straight punk stuff. You know, I would never be scared to flush a toilet, but that is true. There are some individuals that will piss in their cup out of fear of going pee in the middle of the night and flushing the toilet and waking up their uh, cellmate that's liable to beat the hell out of them just because they woke him up. And also there was one time uh, where my cellmate was talking through, to the girl through the toilet and I had to take a damn dump, you know what I mean? I was like, bro, I need to take a dump, man. For real, you gotta, you gotta wrap it up, wrap it up. And he started getting sassy out his freaking mouth about, look, man, you can't hold it till a cell break. I was like, nah, you know? You know, wrap it up. Freaking talk, tell her what you need to say. I started getting aggravated. I said, wrap it up, man. Tell her what you need to say. I got to drop this damn deuce, you know? And it almost turned into a legit fight because this dude was trying to handcuff the toilet, man, just so he could freaking talk. 
Look, as soon as I'm done taking a dump, you can freaking drain the toilet and get back to work with her, you know what I mean? But, uh, I'll never forget that day too, man. It was, it was pretty crazy, man. These guys get state struck over that toilet. Anytime they get some kind of kick it from a girl, man, it's they fall in love instantly. It's absolutely insane. And guys will do the craziest things for love, especially in lockup. I've said it a million times, man. When a dude falls in love with a girl and he gets locked up, it's man, they 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 have a roller coaster ride of emotions in there. You know, they'll take it out on other people. They'll they'll take it out on their self. It's crazy, man. Love will make you do mysterious things. And there's a lot of people that have been emailing me lately about how they their significant other don't love them no more, and they're talking about doing some crazy stuff to themselves and I got to sit there and tell them look man uh man you know I've I've been in their shoes before you know not to that extent maybe but love you know getting your heart broken when you're younger puppy love is what I like to call it but it hurts man it hurts and people will do stupid stuff and feel like the world is over it's not over man millions of freaking girls out there wake up snap out of it get out of that freaking daze that love spell that you're on man and move on Time will heal those wounds for sure. Be strong. You are a man, okay? Do not let a woman bring you down like that. I hate to see it. You know, I hate to see it because women can have some strong power over a man, and it's it's sad, man. No disrespect to the ladies out there, but y'all know damn well y'all got some power. Well, y'all definitely got some power over the men that you might be in love with. And uh, it is what it is. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Go check me out on Twitch. I'll be playing Blackout on a regular basis, live almost every night. Uh, add me up on Twitter, Instagram. Check out Teespring with all the good 23 and one merchandise. Go check out my other channel, 23 and Fun. I try to drop a video up there daily. Vlogs, live streams, all kinds of fun stuff. I just did one making a horseshoe pit in my backyard. I've been having a lot of fun on both of these channels and it's hard to call this a job when I love doing it so much. You know, I love it. This is one of the most exciting times in my life, being a YouTuber. It don't get no better than this, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably one of the best jobs you could possibly have if you want to even call it a job. Anyways, salute to every last one who's been supporting me since the beginning and everyone who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound. Y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.